I'm still bored, so let's do some more math. So here's a really cool question. Find all integers for x and y such that x squared plus 615 is equal to 2 to the power of y. Now, first of all, you should be able to recognize that this is actually a very good question. What I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this question first. Let's say that 2 to the power of y minus x squared is equal to 615. And before I proceed with this question, let me show you a simpler question that has been modified so you better understand this solution. Okay, so let's suppose we were asked to find all the integer solutions for x and y such that x squared minus y squared is equal to 24. Well, here's what we know 24 could equal to. 24 could equal 1 times 24, which would give you 24. It could equal 2 times 12, which is 24. It could equal 3 times 8, which is 24. And it could equal 4 times 6, which is 24. Now, this does not provide a difference of squares of uh, integers, and this does not provide a difference of squares of integers. So, 2 times 12 is equal to... 7 minus 5, 7 plus 5, and 4 times 6 would equal to 5 minus 1, 5 plus 1. Here it's equal to 7 squared minus 5 squared, and here it's equal to 5 squared minus 1 squared. So the answer to this question is x equals plus or minus 7, and y equals plus or minus 5. And x equals plus or minus 5, y equals plus or minus 1. All right, so let's analyze this equation now. Let's look at 2 to the power of y first. From this, y can't be negative. Because if y is negative, then 2 to the power of y would result in a decimal value and not an integer value. Or else, 2 to the y would not be an integer, meaning x can't be an integer. And we're asked to find integer solutions for x and y, so that's not possible. y also cannot equal 0. Because if it did, then you'd have 1 minus x squared is equal to 615. And what you would have is negative x squared is equal to 614. x would have to be an imaginary number, but we're looking for integers. y also cannot equal 1, because then you'd have 2 minus x squared is equal to 615 negative x squared equals 613, you get an imaginary number 2. 2 to the power of y is congruent to 0 or 2 mod 4, but it's only congruent to 2 mod 4 when y is equal to 1. If y is not 1, if y is 2, 3, 4, 5, etc., then 2 to the power of y would be congruent to 0 mod 4. So as a result, we establish that y can't equal 1. So 2 to the y is congruent to 0 mod 4. x squared will always be congruent to 0 or 1 mod 4. Try it yourself. You'll see that this is always going to be the case. However, we already saw that 2 to the power of y is congruent to 0 or 4 mod 4, and because 615 is congruent to 3 mod 4, the only way that this would make sense in modular arithmetic 
is if x squared is congruent to 1 mod 4, and this implies that x has to be odd. All right, so I just cleared the board to make some space. I summarized what we found out earlier. 2 to the power of y is congruent to 0 mod 4, or 2 to the power of y is divisible by 4. x squared is congruent to 1 mod 4, where x is odd. And y has to be at least 2. So going back to that question, that simpler question I showed you earlier, let's find out what 615 can be expressed as. Six hundred fifteen can equal one times six fifteen, which is equal to three o eight minus three o seven times three o eight plus three o seven, which is equal to three hundred eight squared minus three hundred seven squared. Six hundred fifteen can be expressed as three times two hundred and five, which is equal to 104 minus 101 times 104 plus 101, which is equal to 104 squared minus 101 squared. 615 can equal 5 times 123, which is equal to 64 minus 59 times 64 plus 59, which is equal to 64 squared minus 59 squared. And lastly, 615 can equal 15 times 41, which is equal to 28 minus 13 times 28 plus 13, which is equal to 28 squared minus 13 squared. These are the four ways you can express 615 in terms of a difference of squares. Now the best way to approach this is to look at the variable 2 to the power of y and see what outputs you get from it. So when y is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, um, 7, so on and so forth. So 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 4, 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8, 2 to the power of 4 is equal to 16, 2 to the power of 5 is equal to 32, to the power of 6 is 64, and the 7 is 128, dot dot dot. You can go for on and on as much as you want. So let's look at each of these four cases of difference of squares. 308 is not 2 to the power of something, so this is cancelled out. 104 is also not 2 to the power of something, so it's cancelled out. 64 is 2 to the power of 6. So this is definitely plausible. And 28 is not 2 to the power of something, so that cancels out. So let's look at 64 squared minus 59 squared. 64 equals 2 to the power of 6, so 64 squared is equal to 2 to the power of 12. So 2 to the power of y equals 2 to the power of 12, and this means that y is equal to 12. x squared is equal to 59 squared. x can equal plus or minus 59. Therefore, the only solutions to the equation x squared plus 615 equals 2 to the power of y are x equals negative 59 and y equals 12 and x equals 59 and y equals 12.